So I can't believe I even need to have this conversation. Um, but I got to remember that we might have some younger viewers or we might have people who aren't as experienced with uh, social media and the internet as I am. We have something happening on our channel that uh, it's actually happened to quite a few channels. Actually, what's happening is extremely popular on TikTok and Snapchat. Uh, but some people, you know, if you're on TikTok, you don't really read the comments or comment yourself so you don't deal with this or see it. I know personally, I don't think I've ever commented on a TikTok video. Um, most I've done is ever leave a heart. So, yeah, I, you know, it's not something I've experienced, but I've seen other people that I know use TikTok experience this. And now it's happening on YouTube. And it's something that... Um, I can't really do much to prevent. I do my best. Uh, I've been doing my best the last couple days to combat it and uh, help protect you guys. But unfortunately, because we especially do things like giveaways, we actually have a giveaway going on right now for a Switch OLED, PlayStation 5, and um, Xbox Series X, winner of choice. You know, winner gets to choose whatever system they want. Leam.io link down in the description. But the reason I wanted to bring that up is because our giveaways are probably why this channel is targeted. Uh, because it makes our viewer base just frankly more gullible. And I don't want to uh, blame anyone specifically, but I have gotten dozens of emails and DMs across social media about this and people who have fallen for it. And what am I talking about? Well, here's just one example I happened to screenshot. I delete a lot of this stuff. Um, and it says, thanks for watching. Don't uh, forget to hit that subscription bell and then it gives a whatsapp phone number and this username in particular uh, i've actually seen seven different ones this one uses my uh, thumbnail and then uh, it says pinned by nintendo prime and that's actually their username but they're doing that to trick people into thinking it's actually me responding to them and what happens is they hit our comment section and they respond to every single comment they can only respond uh, it seems per bot that's doing this, it can only respond to about 70 comments per video. Uh, and right now, YouTube is not doing anything to combat it. They are aware that this is happening, that this is the latest scam happening. And that's actually a nicer one where the bot's asking you to subscribe, but then also asking you to talk to them on WhatsApp. And some people are gullible enough to believe I am handing out a publicly available WhatsApp number uh, so people can talk to me. Now, they won't actually call you and talk to you so because you, you can obviously figure out, hey, that's not Nate, that's not his voice. What they're doing instead is just texting and yeah, telling you that you've won giveaways and asking for shipping details and saying that, hey, you have to pay for shipping, which for some of my giveaways, you do have to pay for shipping. So it can sound extremely believable. But I can tell you right now, I've never once used WhatsApp to handle any of my giveaways, and I would never tell anyone to contact me on WhatsApp. In fact, I don't even have a WhatsApp number, at least not a public one. I have one WhatsApp phone number that's private because we have certain sponsors that like to talk through WhatsApp for some ungodly reason, but we personally don't use WhatsApp in any public capacity so i can tell you right now anytime you see a comment responding to you telling that you've won contact me on whatsapp or oh subscribe thanks very much by the way contact me on whatsapp all they're trying to do is fish you and get your address your phone number so they can send spam calls and spam mail to your house and also so they can try to convince you to send them shipping money which they are obviously just going to keep and the more you interact with these WhatsApp phone numbers, the more and more they're going to keep coming after us. The best thing you can do is report that comment, right? Report it as spam and hope that YouTube's automatic AI starts to recognize that these comments with WhatsApp numbers are bullshit. Um, they're obviously impersonating me and making it as believable as they can without being my account. And unfortunately, because I'm not a channel with 100,000 subscribers, I don't have a check mark by my name, which would be a way to verify it. And gosh knows, the bot makers will eventually figure out we have a Nintendo Prime podcast channel and then start to make bots that use that to act like I'm talking to you guys with the podcast channel, which happens now and then, depending on what account I happen to be logged in. You guys do know I do respond directly to comments here and there. I don't respond to everybody because I just don't have that kind of time but frankly and I have to say this and I know it's gonna sound mean I have had 
What a half dozen people tell me um, that they think I scammed them or that this is a scam and they're requesting that I give them their money back. One person in particular requested over $300 that they sent um, supposedly. So I would ship them two PlayStation 5s that they won in a different country. Um, I've only ever given away one PlayStation 5. That was back in January of last year. Now, obviously, we might be giving away another one this month. But yeah, to that, I can only say I'm really sorry you got scammed. But it's not my problem. You, for lack of a better word, I won't name any names, are kind of an idiot. These scam things have existed for a long time, whether it's phishing emails, uh, whether it's you know weird text messages, you know you get phone calls from from companies pretending they're collection agencies when they're not really collection agencies. Um, you, you get a whole bunch of this stuff happening to you throughout your life, whether you're a teenager, a child, or an adult, and you have to learn and self-teach yourself to recognize the difference. Any thing that says pinned by Nintendo Prime is not me. There is one pinned comment, and that is usually my comment advertising giveaways or asking people to subscribe. So every now and then I'll pin a fan comment. But yeah, I, this is really out of my purview. It is not on me to refund money that you got scammed out of because you followed a scam that happened in my comment section that YouTube unfortunately didn't do a better job protecting. Now this is something I've seen other YouTubers talk about over the last couple of months and they've suggested something that YouTube could offer in the meantime that I would really prefer until they could deal with this and that would be the ability to turn off replies. They aren't making a normal comment, they're replying to people to make it look more direct and harder for me to track and take care of because while I try to read every comment, reality is I make multiple videos, sometimes five to 10 videos per week plus live streams. I'm not gonna be able to catch everything. I try really hard to, but I'm not always gonna catch it and I'm not always gonna catch it in the moment. I could be doing other things with my children, my fiance, school, etc., and I'm not going to get to it. And unfortunately, that leads to a lot of you guys potentially getting scammed. So I'm making this video as a general warning. It should be obvious. I am not ever telling anybody to go to WhatsApp just to chat with me. We have a public Discord server, everybody. A public Discord server. If I'm going to tell you to go anywhere to talk, it will be there. I don't hand out my phone number. I don't hand out a WhatsApp number, my Twitter, my publicly available email, and our public Discord server. That's it. I don't have a special Snapchat for you guys or a special Facebook group you can join. I don't have, you know, I, I, I am on Instagram and TikTok, but I don't tell people to really go there to DM me and talk to me. So guys, stop letting yourself get scammed and be smarter. And I'm really sorry this is happening. And I don't want to say it's your fault for falling for the scam, but I do want to say, or at least make people aware of it and know I'm not the one doing it and I have no control over it and no, I'm not going to be giving you your money back if you get scammed, okay? It's not my responsibility to do that. All I can do is tell you I'm deeply sorry that this happened and obviously use it as a learning experience to make people aware that this is a thing going on on my channel and it's happening all across YouTube, by the way. It's a very widespread problem. And now that it's starting to get down to smaller content creators like me, I can only imagine how many of the other channels you watch, whether it's RGT, Spawn Wave, Andres Restart, etc., that's gonna end up dealing with this problem as well. So please, don't be dumb. Don't let it happen to you. This is the only time I'm gonna warn you about it because it's out of my control and has nothing to do with me. All right, folks, I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jantz from Nintendo Prime. And hopefully I'll catch you in a much more upbeat video next time.